Hello Benefish fam and welcome or welcome back to another video today. I'm really excited to share this one with you because I will be showing you how I create my DIY plant holders. More specifically, how I attach my plant cuttings and indoor plants to my tank to keep them up on the surface while letting the roots grow. I will be listing what you need to purchase in the description. Really, it's just a 10 to $11 pack of airline tubing suction cups and the little attachment pieces. I actually had to buy it anyway for my sponge filter and for the air stones in my tank. So I just happened to have some extra supplies on hand, which is how these came about. I needed some plant holders and sometimes the best things are the things you make for yourself. So today I'll be showing you how to do that and let's get into it. If you don't want to make a holder, there are a couple ways that you could have plants like this in your tank without needing one. The first method that I use for these is using my little built-in filter section back here. And as you can see, really, they just sit back here. This little thing keeps them from coming forward, but honestly, they're just being held in this little tiny section back here. I've just kind of wedged them in. Same with this one. I've just kind of draped it over back here and the roots are growing all the way down. I don't know if you can see it. They don't have anything holding them except for the little cracks and crevices that I've just kind of shoved them down into. So you could do this. Also, if you have a hang on back or HOB filter, which is going to sit about here, you can do the same thing with plants. And as just a general beginner's rule, I do recommend pothos or pothos. These are some of the best plants and I have some different kinds. I'll go ahead and show you because you could get any color, any color, any size, any type. There's so many different types of those plants, but they are safe for your aquarium. So I'll show you the kinds that I have real quick, just to give you an idea. Here's my first one. I am absolutely in love with this one. The colors are just gorgeous. And some of them I don't remember the names of, but I do know that this one right here is an enjoy in the letter N, joy, pothos plant. And then this one is a global green and they grow with different colors and patterns. There's usually about three to four different shades of green. Love this one, love, love this one. And then the last kind I have is just kind of sitting back here on my shelf. This is a golden pothos or pothos. And that one's gorgeous also because it has this gold yellow color just going throughout the leaves and every leaf is different and unique. Now moving over to my 10 gallon tank, I use my little DIY holder, you can see it right here, and it is suctioning to the back glass of my tank, and it is holding a cutting from my prayer plant, and I love, love, love this one. Here is another pothos vine that I have, and I've just kind of twirled it around the light, and there is another enjoy back there. So as you can see, I have definitely laid it down. You can see, and it's a little bit blurry, but all the way in the back, those roots are coming from this plant. So the roots are actually really great to have back there because it gives your butterfish another place to hide and kind of swim around. Now, before we get into the actual DIY section where I show you how I create it, I did want to mention the benefit of having indoor plants in your tank. A lot of people just love it for the aesthetics. And honestly, that is one of the big reasons that I love having them in my tank. They just, they make it a hundred times better in my opinion, but Indoor plants will also filter the nitrites and nitrates in your tank, so it's a win-win. All right, y'all, so here we go, super duper easy. You are going to grab your airline tubing. Now, I have a bunch of this, and like I said, I have a lot left over from different projects and also my sponge filter and air stones. So I just have a bunch of airline tubing laying around. If you don't have any, a lot of fish keepers do, but if you don't have any, like I said, I will leave the whole entire pack of things that I got for probably $11 on Amazon. I'll leave that linked in the description. From that same pack, I want to grab this suction cup. There's some different connectors in that pack as well, but my favorite one to use is this little one. This little corner T looking thing. This is going to basically follow the same principle that I used in one of my previous YouTube videos where I showed you how to make your own little almond leaf holder to make your betta fish a little leaf tunnel. 
So if you haven't seen that, check that out. But it's we're basically doing the same thing here. Go ahead and start out by grabbing your scissors and snipping off the desired length. Now, what you want to keep in mind is how big your cutting or clipping is. Does it already have roots and whatnot? Are the stems bigger? Are they smaller? I always go for the absolute minimum because the opening is going to end up being about, about like that. So you could stick really any little cutting into there. And you just take this little thing and you clip it right in there and it holds it. And that's about it. You're going to stick it to the aquarium wall like that. And now all you need to make the little ring is some airline tubing. Attach it right here. Then just kind of hold it and estimate how much you want. This is about what I'm going for right here. And then after that, all you're going to do is connect it. Yeah. But let me. And then boom. That's it. You're done. Now you have your very own plant cutting holder. But I did forget to add that if you don't want it to be really finicky and kind of fall out, take some super glue and just glue it in place. That's going to make it the most solid if you experience problems with it popping off and whatnot. But as an example, I have my golden pothos cutting here. It's already got some roots, but you can root it just straight in your aquarium. Here it is. And then honestly, I still made it a little bit too big. I would probably go ahead, pull that off, cut it and make it shorter. Shortened it and it is way better. This is the ideal shape right here. Ideal. This is what I get with my other one. Snap it on. And I'm just gonna push it. Now your pothos can sit here and grow and look beautiful. You may not want to put it towards the front like I did, but I think it makes it look really pretty. It just kind of frames the whole top of the aquarium. I love it, it's so pretty. And I, I definitely recommend that you super glue that. I would super glue that to the suction cup so it doesn't pop off because that can be an issue. So if you don't think you're gonna need the spare parts for anything else in the future, Super glue that puppy on there and it will not budge. That is it for my DIY plant holder. I hope it works for you. Let me know how it goes in the comments and I hope you have a wonderful time adding these gorgeous, gorgeous houseplants to your aquarium.